to talk about right now uh, for my daily rev, daily revelation for you guys is your morning routine and your morning schedule. Do you wake up and you're just immediately a slave to the morning? Many of us can say, yep, especially if you have school age kids. Um, and you're just getting up and you're, you're doing the lunch, you're doing the off to school, then you're going to work or you're cleaning the house or you're doing, you're doing whatever that routine is, whatever the day requires you to do at that moment. And sometimes it can change and switch and whatever. Um, I invite you all to start your new system and get something in place that works for you. Now I can tell you what mine is. I can tell you what my routine is, but having a routine in the morning and that system that you do can help put you on the right path for the rest of the day, okay? That system starts the night before. So my next to my bed on my nightstand, I have paper, my gratitude journal, a pen, paper, whatever, because sometimes thoughts come to me in the middle of the night <laughs> for ideas and stuff and workouts. I know my brain doesn't stop. Um, I like to journal if I have a dream or something like that, whatever. That's easy stuff, but also, I like to sit down and just real quick on a section of a piece of paper, like what tomorrow is going to look like and what do I expect for myself? What needs to get done? And my morning routine has drastically changed over the last year. And I feel like the mornings no longer control me. I have control over my mornings. So I wake up, I always try to wake up before everyone else. Some mornings it's, it's not perfect. Um, and I'm dragging and then I'm behind and then that sets the pace for the whole day. I hate that. I always try to get up before everyone else. This is my routine. You guys have to figure out your own though, but I definitely can give you guidance and help you with that. I wake up before everyone else. Highly recommend you do it too. Is it fun? No. Does it suck? Yeah. Especially right now because it's starting to be dark in the morning and um, you're like getting up and no, no, my bed's so comfy and warm and I just want to stay in it. Get up before everyone else. It's gonna give you that time and that space. If you have a dog or an animal, take the dog or whatever it is that you have and go for a walk. Create space in the morning. I used to create my space at night. Um, once I made the switch to morning, drastically changed. So it's dark, it's cold, when, whether it's raining, snowing, beautiful weather, whatever, go outside for your walk. Again. Just making a recommendation, this is what I do. But no matter what the temperature, no matter what is going on outside, I'm outside creating my space. That's the first thing. Um, but before I get out, I look at what I wrote down for the day, what needs to happen. Create space is always number one. Number two, anything that I need to get ready for the kids or whatever, fine. You know, number three, what do I need to do for work? What do I need extra things to prepare? I always have a list. When you have that list and that schedule, it's just helps you feel a little less crazy. So I wake up before everyone else and I always just take a moment, I swing my legs over the side of my bed and I, you guys, I literally do this every single morning like clockwork, swing my legs over the bed and I just breathe. I just breathe. Sometimes it's five deep breaths, sometimes it's 10. If it gets any more than 10, I could literally put myself back to sleep. But I'm just breathing. I'm taking in my gratitude, I'm letting go any negative energy, and I just gather my thoughts. I tell myself how, how wonderful I am, what an amazing day it's going to be, and I prep myself. I use that first eight minutes of when we set the path for the rest of the day, first thing in the morning. Many people wake up, hit the snooze, throw the covers off the bed, and they're like, you know, all walking to the bathroom, going to the bathroom, brushing their teeth, yelling at the kids, hurry up, we slept in late. Imagine eliminating that from your life. Wake up, swing my legs over, at least five, 10 breaths. I check my list, okay, got it in my head, take care of my business, grab the dog, walk, no matter what. And that's the thing, you have to have that no matter what attitude. It has to become routine, it has to become second nature, it's just what you do. And if you're thinking like, I could never do that, how could I ever do that, I could never do that, you can, but it has to become you, it has to be part of your routine. Then I come inside, I make sure kids are up, I start doing lunches, then I start making their breakfast, then I start doing hair, same thing, every day. Like, I know what to expect, they know what to expect, then I'm getting them off the bus stop, then I'm coming back, and I'm doing the next thing on my list, which is usually a stretching session. Three minutes, you guys, we're literally talking three minutes where I'm just standing there and I'm like, 
going down, lateral lunge, other lateral lunge, deep breath in. And I just look out in my backyard and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so blessed to even have a backyard. Um, and I just take a couple minutes, then I get into my regular routine of whatever day that is. Monday looks different than Tuesday. Tuesday looks different than Wednesday. Actually, Monday and Wednesday look similar. Tuesday and Thursday kind of look similar. Friday is its own world. It's its, its own demon. Um, but I do whatever that schedule is for that day. And it's okay if your schedule doesn't look the same Monday through Friday. It's not supposed to. Okay? So think about these things, you guys. What type of morning routine could you figure out that helps get you space, clarity, more relaxation, less stressed, more positive attitude, more positive environment? All of these things are what makes you successful with your health and your fitness. When you value your time, when you value your alone time, when you value your mental space and your mental clarity, which is breathing in the morning, just freaking walking, you will then value more of your body. You will make your workouts happen more. You will make better decisions when it comes to food. And you'll be like, I was just texting with one of you. And you'll be like, yeah, that burrito sounds awesome, but like, it ain't worth it. I'm getting up and breathing every day and going for a walk. My God, am I going to ruin that with a burrito? Hell no. <laughs> you just change. Okay? All these little things in a little morning routine are going to help you in your headspace and your clarity. And those five deep breaths that you're taking in of gratitude, letting go negative, it might sound crazy. And my husband still looks at me and he's like, what, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I just ignore him and take an extra breath that day. Um, but it changes you and oxygen changes you. So when you literally breathe in your nose and out your mouth, you are getting more oxygen and getting fresh oxygen directly to your brain through your nose. It's not a mistake that they put oxygen on your nose and not just a full mask all the time. Usually it's directly through the nose. Depends on what they have. Um, it's not a mistake. So start thinking of morning routine. Who on here is going to embrace this and start creating their five minute morning routine? I don't wanna hear, oh my God, you have no freaking idea. I have like 20 kids and there ain't no time for me. You get up just a little bit earlier. I know, it. that initial waking up is hard. But being stressed in a crazy person is even harder. It truly is. So think about it. I want you guys to think about what can you start doing daily, every morning, Monday through Sunday, that is just going to help you a little bit better organize your day. Okay, and remember it does start at the night before. Laying down in bed, going through your gratitude journal, writing it down, just making a quick list of the top things that must be accomplished the next day, don't forget, and then you're ready for bed. And then in the morning, you pick up, do your, do your morning routine. So my question to all of you, into the comments is, what can you do to improve your morning? What can you do to improve your mindset? What can you do to get fresh oxygen going? What can you do to just make a little bit more time for you? We're literally talking minutes, you guys. Not 15, 20, 30. No, we're talking five minutes. Um, 10 if you're gonna go for a walk with a dog or something, okay? Um, but I wanna hear it. I wanna know what you guys think of this topic. I wanna know if you're currently doing something. And if you're not, I wanna know how you're going to change that. Thank <laughs> you.